who likes to see an impression of themselves. <laughs> it's like you can't just go around calling people fat. I wish I was still that animated. I'd get rid of this f***ing COVID weight. Hey, Vanity Fair peoples, I'm Bill Burr. And today I'm going to be watching people doing impressions of me. It's glued! It's glued to the back of his head! <laughs> it's early Bill Burr! You do these easy impressions, you know, you do your thing, you do them easy. You know, they're easy to do. It's not hard. You know, do somebody else. Somebody hard. Somebody from Boston. You know? Do burn. It's too much New York in that one. <laughs> uh, no, he's got the, like, the cadence, but he's, he still has the... Oh! They're easy to do. Now I gotta like shit on another comedian. You know, it's better than I could do an impression of him. How about that? That impression is me if I grew up in like... New York, like Queens or something. Like, hey, hey, fucking standing here. Yeah, they got a guy's, guy's a little bit of that. Jay should get on with his life. There's no <laughs> money in him doing an impression of me. I would move on to, to Ben Affleck or somebody a little well, better known. Okay, shut the fuck up. Sit down, okay, all right. All right, look. Okay, all right, look. All right, you know, I'm not trying to be a dick, okay? Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's too fucking expensive to live here, you know? Everyone wants to live off. Oh, I wanna go off the L train, you know? Wow, that, that guy takes it, man. That's, that was amazing. I tell you, it's, it's weirding me out, people with hair doing it, and they're skinny and shit, and I feel like I'm watching one of my old VHS tapes. That guy is amazing. I feel like in five years, the L train's just gonna go cross country, you know, just so people can say they live. Yeah, I live off the L train. I'm off the uh, Wilmington, Delaware stuff, you know? <laughs> oh, it's brutal! It's fucking brutal! Yeah, he had the whole thing. He's, he's doing me in like 2004, 2007. I think I used to own that shirt. I mean, he did the whole thing. I used to have it unbuttoned a little more back when I was single, you know, trying to attract people with my alabaster freckled chest. Um, <laughs> that didn't work out for me. No, that was amazing. Very talented. I don't ever want to see those again. I don't, I don't want to be in my head about what it is that I, I know I lean on the mic stand. What I'm doing is working for me. I don't need these people to be pulling it apart. You know, take one thread out and then that's it. Then all of a sudden I care about people, right? Imitation's the best form of flattery, no? Uh, no, <laughs> depends on how it's done. None of these impressions so far have me depicted as particularly intelligent, I can tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> it's me, ah, ah, eh, ah, what the fuck, ah. The Republicans are all like, how did, how did 81 million people vote for Biden? It's like they didn't vote for Biden, all right? They voted against Trump. Now it's like they hated him, you know? Now, it's like they hated him more than like a child molester. You know, it's kind of never seen anything like it, you know? Let me ask him why. You know, like, why do you hate Trump? It's like, guy, I think he, somebody's told me that he called Rosie O'Donnell fat. <laughs> yeah, that's fantastic. These people are they're, they're doing a really good job. I just was watching the mannerism. It was really just this guy and the last guy, they just I I started remembering gigs where I, I recorded myself and would go back because, you know, making a tape, trying to get like a uh, agent or something like that. And during this period of my career, I, used to wa I couldn't watch myself. I'm like, what am I doing? Why am I moving around like that? That what he's doing that, that was all like nervous energy, frustration with where my career was at and all of this other stuff. So yeah, wow. These are all like Bill Burr fine wine. <laughs> That's a Bill Burr 2004 right there. Oh God! You know you're saying all these 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 kind things to me, and now I gotta now I gotta be nice to you. That's a high pitch. That's well, like that's, a soprano. Uh, it's because Bill it's Burr. it's early Bill Burr. It's early Bill Burr. <laughs> you gotta know. It's really good. You gotta I'm, know. Yeah, that must have been really, 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 <laughs> really early on. Yeah, Marina's been breaking my balls for fuck for years, so that was actually a lot nicer than I thought it was gonna be. <laughs> I would add a little little hopelessness, but the euphoria that comes when you just don't care. <laughs> when the hell did we meet? Like 99, 2000? So I think that just got burned into her brain. So this is like wild. It's like watching my, like I said, my old stand-up tapes, which I don't do, but like if, if I were to do that, these are all very good. Marina did a great job. Oh, dude, fuck it, this guy, <laughs> Jay Farrow. Love that guy. <laughs> this fucking guy is... Farrow. Fucking Jay. Pharaoh! His fucking beanie's hanging off his head. <laughs> like he's the fucking summer winter for this guy. How the fuck does it stay on? Yeah, yeah. The fuck is it glue? Is it is it gorilla glue? It's what glued. is he doing? It's glued! It's glued! It's glued to the back of his head! <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I mean, with the face swap, that was pretty wild. Um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good, you know. Um, <laughs> I, just, I have a choppy cadence, I guess. Summer, winter for this guy. This is why I didn't want to do this shit, because I don't want to know what it is that I do. I mean, that I think that was the clean version of it. That sounded like young me, as opposed to uh, beaten down by life that you now see, which is why I'm wearing my happy blue sweater to try to offset where I am mentally right now. I mean, I don't really listen to myself. It's not like I, I watch... I, I think, no, I th it sounded good to me, I think. I mean, I was too weirded out by the fact that my face was on his face. Yeah, and I was like, I used to have hair. Oh shit, is he my AI replacement? <laughs> AI Andrew Santino is gonna come kill me one night. The Illuminati liked you better when you had hair. And then that'll be the end of me. But that'll be good, because I won't have to go to LAX anymore. Fantastic, I'm gonna leave my doors unlocked tonight. We can get off of it. Bro, nobody gives a fuck. This is podcast Fucking me. Fucking cordyceps, I mean, I barely eat mushrooms as is. There you go. See, now that makes me feel like he, he listens to my podcast. I mean, you, you want to talk on a podcast about something else, everybody's just losing their mind. Yeah, that's, that, was, that was a good one. Well, he did say talk, so he got a little New York in there. I got a lot of New York guys doing uh, impressions of me. That's pretty cool. What I liked about this one is I feel like he was doing, not me doing stand-up. He was doing the podcast where it's just more like you're hanging out and I'm just like talking and you're listening for whatever reason, getting through your cardio or some awful Southwest flight, whatever the hell it is you're doing. That's almost cigar, smoking a cigar with me. I, I slouched down the seat like that. I'm like, hey, that's all bullshit. All these fucking people out here. What are you gonna do this? <laughs> Acting like I'm saying something when I'm not. Yeah, that was a great one. I thought this was going to be a lot more painful. I'm enjoying this. I was just like, you know, thought the self-loathing was going to come up. But they're actually, these are really funny. This is your whole act. Albert Einstein's a genius. What do you think, Bill? Um, I, I don't, is he? Is he? Really? He couldn't even get a decent haircut. What's that? His mustache, he couldn't trim it. The guy who had AD, he was just, you know, he, how'd you come up with your stuff, Albert? Ah, uh, that's one of my favorite people I have met since I got in this business. I love John Lovitz. He's old school, old school guy. Like, I can't argue anything that he's saying about my act. There weren't so many assholes in the world. What would be a great show would be our phone conversations and our text messages because th that podcast, which I highly recommend you check out because John was on fire that day trashing me, is nowhere near what we do on the phone. You liked John's impression of you. Uh, is that your favorite? I can't pick favorites here. I got to run into all these people down at the club. You're going to create all this drama. I liked, uh, for different reasons, I, lo I love John because, you know, he just, he gets like right to it. He's like a surgeon and he just, he just goes right for the nerve. So I like him because he was being funny, but he's also really trying to trash me. So and he's also a legend. So I love that one. Uh, I love Marina's because I know her from way back in the day. Andrew Santino's as far as creepy factor with the, the face swap was incredible. The one kid who came out with the shirt. I mean, I liked them all. They, they, were, they were really good. I'm flattered that people that funny have listened to me enough, taken the time to listen to whatever it is I'm doing that they can um, do an impression. All right, I just want to thank all the amazing comedians that took time out of their busy schedules to do an impression of me. I'm very flattered. You all did a great job. And now I hate myself even more. Thank you. Thank you, Vanity Fair. I wore a sweater for you guys to feel even worse about myself. <laughs>